Hey, this is Brianna for Unsigned and Unleashed, and I'm here with The Plot in You. Can you just do me a favor and say what you do with The Plot in You in your name? I'll start with Derek. Uh, I'm Derek, and I play guitar. I'm Josh, I play guitar. I'm Ethan, I play bass. I'm Anna, and I do vocals. I'm Cole, and I play drums. Alright, so um, you guys have started posting up updates about the second album. How far along is it? It's done. We finished it right before this tour started. Literally the night before. The okay. night that we left. So the you... morning that we left. Or like oh. 7 in the morning. Yeah. I drove from the studio to the house and put it's... it on my flash drive. <laughs> Gotta have those details, folks. <laughs> Alright, so um, the first record kind of deals a lot with like, the relationship between like fathers and like, sons and stuff. So, um, would you mind talking about like what this new album is going to be about, like lyrically? Well, the last record was every song is about like the same idea, is a concept or whatever. But this record, every song is about something completely different. There's songs about like religion, songs about different people in the world that I hate, different like just how the younger generation kind of sucks, like the kids in this generation, and just kind of the filth of the world, like how I view it and how I've kind of just gone insane in the past couple of years. This band have lost my mind multiple times, so it's all just a bunch of different stories of that kind of shit. Okay. Alright, so that leads me to my next question, which is, um, what kind of weird, crazy stuff is going to be on the record, like, sound-wise? Is there going to be, like... There's going to be stabbing, bones? like, he used a banana and you made some stabbing noises. It was pretty bananas. There's, uh... <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's, there's a lot of weird sound effects. There's the sound, there's the sound of uh, pissing on a dead body. There's a sound of, uh, yeah, broken nails. nails being thrown on the ground, broken glass. Uh, me and the, you were there, and we did all the percussion. We like took everything in my garage and we're just like throwing it on the ground, and it's like the intro of the CD. It makes this percussive noise. You'll see. That. There's just a lot of weird shit. Oh, okay. Weird. <laughs> Where'd you get the dead body from? Uh, it was actually just a, it was a blanket <laughs> as a couple of rolls. <laughs> 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 Sucks. We, all lives. <laughs> we so, talk about leaving Ohio every day. Literally. We never do. Yeah. yeah, we'll never leave. It'll never happen. We'll never leave. But we'll talk about it forever. <laughs> yeah, That's literally it. We hate Ohio. All of us. We complain, but we never do anything about it. No, we're still there. <laughs> it's like cornfields and stuff. It's so, so almost seventy percent agriculture. We have Cedar Point. That's that. the one cool <laughs> thing about Ohio. Yeah, Cedar Point. It's about it. Yeah. <laughs> we got some like some respectable caves. <laughs> Respectable. <laughs> like spelunking and that kind of stuff. Yeah. Okay. Respected caves. Yeah. Go to Ohio, check out our caves. Yeah. Yes. We got good caves, I guess. Alright, so in today's scene, you kind of have to always be releasing new music in order to stay relevant. So do you think that's a good thing, or does that put more pressure on you? Personally, I don't like when a band puts out a record every year. Because, I don't know, I, I feel like kids get burned out on it way faster. And, like, you get burned out on a band. Yeah, exactly. And I feel like a year, I mean, it can be enough time to write, but usually, I don't know, like, I like when bands take time and just put it out when it's ready rather than, like, rushing just because the label wants you to, you know what I mean? So we, we, we weren't rushed at all on this record, which was cool. They let us just take as much time as we want, but you can definitely see the bands that, like, you can tell when a record's been rushed and whenever, you know, they took the time to write the songs, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's one main thing we didn't want to do is rush anything. So every song was written like months apart, pretty much. So. Okay. All right. Um. So this question is mostly for Landon. So I know you put out like solo music before. Um, yeah. Do you have any interest in like I don't know maybe touring or doing like acoustic stuff? Like, I mean, I, the idea is obviously we toss around a lot, and uh, it'd be cool. But just like with what we're doing right now, and especially with what we have planned for next year already, it's. It's just hard to even like plan out that kind of stuff. It's more just for fun right now to write songs just in between tours because I get bored. Or I'm kind of a pussy, so I like to write pussy songs in between writing heavy songs. But I don't know if I'll ever do anything with it, like besides writing songs. But it'd be cool. Like we've even talked about just doing it for fun, like off tour, just playing shows, like all of us. We'll see. Maybe it's possible. Right. I have enough songs to do like an EP, so I've, we've talked about. I, I've talked about just releasing that like myself. So. We'll see. All right. <laughs> okay. So, um, what's the most positive thing you guys have ever heard about your band? 
Uh, it's, we're not very it's positive. A weird <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, it's positive, but not. Yeah, it's positive. like positive, and like a lot of kids will say, it, yeah, like it helped them through a hard time, you know, it helped them through like things that they're going with their going through with their parents or in their lives and stuff, and they can relate to it. So that's cool. It's definitely not a like a positive. Rep. None of our music's really positive, to be completely honest. But people can relate. Yeah, exactly. People can relate. Positive. Yeah, and I feel like with me especially too, like when I listen to heavy bands, I don't feel like it makes me want to like actually go kill people or anything like that. It makes me, it just kind of chills me out. Just makes it so I don't even need to really act on it. I get to feel that that emotion through the music. I don't need to actually like, hurt anybody. Yeah, okay. I think a lot of people feel the same way. Kind of keeps them sane. Alright, awesome. <laughs> okay, so what bands have you guys been listening to lately? I listen to uh, R and B and. Justin Timberlake, to be honest with you, mostly. Awesome. Um, everybody hates what I listen to. Yes, you like rock, rock and roll. Yeah, gaslight anthem. Every so time he drives, I just try to sleep. Everybody, <laughs> everybody, <laughs> has, headphones everybody yeah. has headphones. Everyone instantly puts headphones on when the key goes to the station. Yeah, Josh I, goes I'm to always drive. just hanging out by myself driving. <laughs> Take my headphones off for a second. Maybe the worst bullshit. Ever. Yeah. <laughs> I listen to metal pretty much. That's yeah, he brings the mosh. Yeah, I listen. That's basically all I listen to. I mean, I listen to like Fall Out Boy's like favorite band, so I listen to them on occasion. But, like, yeah. What are you listening to, Cole? Well, I sure. <laughs> I don't know why you laugh about that. Cause they're fucking sweet. <laughs> we all hate. Like, Alright, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I can listen to it. Cola. For like 15 minutes. <laughs> Not Alright, well, thank you guys for talking to me. Of course. You're welcome. Is there anything else you guys want to add on? Um, we have no idea when our record's coming out. We have no idea when the single's coming out. We don't know anything about artwork. <laughs> That's about it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you heard it here first. Thank you.